Tools. Big T here again, and we're doing some unboxings and uh, some special editions. So we got Axiom Verge right here, multi uh, Multiverse Edition. Um, I actually had this game on uh, Wii U. I just never actually played it. I downloaded it back then and uh, just kind of sat there. I had a, you know, a lot of games I was still playing on Wii U, so never got to it. Wanted to support it, but uh, so I bought it, but um, never got a chance to play it and I heard uh, you know it was gonna be coming out for switch at some point or there was gonna be a uh, physical version even for Wii U which still hasn't happened but the switch version obviously is out now so let's go ahead and check this bad boy out it's a really nice uh, you know set up here is your uh, artwork the book of art and uh, I uh, learned that uh, the publisher was giving what was it 75 percent or something like that of the earnings from the physical edition to the creator's son which is because he has some kind of disease uh, and uh, it's pretty cool that they're donating that is the original soundtrack um got some nice tracks on there it's a really the music in the game is really good so very looking very forward to playing that music here's a making of documentary which is also pretty cool um I want to see the behind the scenes on this because it's one guy who put this game together and uh, I always like watching the struggle as an indie filmmaker um, it's very inspiring uh, to see somebody come up with a vision and you know go out there and do it here's the poster very nice artwork I really like the artwork in this game it's very kind of creepy kind of uh, uh, organic mechanical here's the uh, map uh, for the game game feels like it's bigger than this but um you know it's pretty you know good size game good good run time here's the uh case artwork looks really cool very nice uh, actually one of my better my favorite um artworks for switch games and inside you could it's a two-way uh, cover so you can flip it out and it has this kind of uh old school super mario first frame uh, artwork which is very cool and there is the cart uh, switch carts are so damn small it's crazy how they can fit anything on them and now we have uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 special edition I actually ended up getting two of these by mistake I'm just trying to decide what I'm going to do with my other special edition uh, so let's go ahead and open this one up um, I may just keep that other one sealed and put it away who knows um, yeah, so let's pull this stuff out here. All right, there's the box art, back box art. Yeah. Here's the uh, book, uh, art book. And uh, I learned that the, because uh, I was kind of jelly about the PAL version, uh, having a really cool art book uh, cover case, whatever. But the ours is, uh, is a hard cover and not paperback. Here's the CD, music CD some track selections in there pretty cool and uh, here's another thing that bothered me um, a little bit this is the uh, the steel book that the game comes in but the PAL versions actually have a regular case and we don't get that here in North America so I, I would like to have had a regular case but again it's whatever um, and here is a closer look at the really cool um, Steelbook game case, really nice artwork there. There's like a, the theme artwork in the game, um, and here is the cart itself. It's just crazy that this huge game fits on this tiny little cart. It's amazing, but yeah, there it is, folks. Uh, let's open up this art book a little bit, and so I can show you guys some of the stuff in here. And uh, really nice. It's got a nice matte finish to it, uh huh. And uh, you know, some of the I guess it's concept art uh, mostly. That's really nice. I like that a lot. That's the uh, basically the the game case art. Um, you have some character designs, like I said. Uh, here's uh, Rex, main guy here. Looks uh. Is all the different expressions and stuff. You guys, you don't realize how much stuff goes into making uh, not just video games, but like film and 
you know, coming up with all this concept stuff um, beforehand. Um, probably about 80% of it you'll never even see on screen. Uh, but the stuff that has to be done uh, in order for you to have enough to make a film or video game, obviously, from. So, yeah, it's just flipping through. Getting you a quick look at it. It's a nice book. And I'm glad we have a hardcover instead of the uh, paperback kind of soft cover that the PAL region's got. But, you know, well, we both had advantages and disadvantages from our special editions. So, yeah. Well, anyway, that's it. Just get another look at all the little items here, uh, the main items, and there you go. Peace.